Hey, what's up guys, Tektine here and I'm back again with a brand new video. I'm back and I have my best, my top picks for the best phones of 2016. Hope you enjoy it, uh, check it out and yeah, let's get started. Alright, so first up we have the Motorola, uh, the Motorola flagship or Lenovo's flagship, the Moto Z. So the Moto Z is a pretty interesting phone. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say that it's probably the most interesting phone that I've seen this year. So it brings up uh, Moto Mods, which is uh, the ability to swap, not swap, it's pretty much adding more functionality to your device, like putting uh, a speaker, uh, an extra uh, a camera module, and things of that sort. Now, pretty much this idea is still in its early stages, really, really early stages. And so it's not, I think, like, I think it's still too early for us to adapt to it. And the, so the cons of this phone are pretty much the fact that uh, it does not have a headphone jack. So they they got rid of it for some reason, which I think it's not necessary for them to do that yet. So next on my list is the OnePlus 3. Uh, in particular, the OnePlus 3T, since the OnePlus 3 um, is not gonna be, is not gonna exist in the OnePlus store after it sells out. It probably already sold out. But anyway, the OnePlus 3T brings up uh, it's pretty much the OnePlus 3, but with a little bit extra power. Not a lot. So it still carries the 6 gigabytes of RAM from the OnePlus 3. Um, it's, again, 6 gigabytes of RAM, a lot of RAM. And um, so multitasking will be no problem at all for this phone. Uh, a nice 16 megapixel camera, uh, a front facing 16 megapixel camera, pretty much all the top notch specs. And, um, all the phones on this list are gonna have top-notch specs since they're the best phones of 2016. But yeah, uh, OnePlus 3T, really cool phone, really nice phone. Um, I wish OnePlus would have switched the design a little bit. So next up, we have the one and only, the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. Now, while there's a lot of controversy that these phones are getting old in terms of design, because they, this is the same design, from all the way back to the iPhone 6. So basically, three year, uh, so three years Apple sticking with the same design, which is a long time. But I mean, it's still, the iPhone 7 is still one of the best phones out right now. So it picks their A10 Fusion chip, and the iPhone 6 is already the best smartphone in terms of performance, and the iPhone 7 is no exception. It's above that, and performance wise, the iPhones have always been consistent. They always have the, even without the specs, the specs might not be as high on paper that they are in actual usage. And trust and believe that the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus are easily the best performing smartphone out right now. And yeah, uh, and they also have great cameras. Now, iOS and Android, that's not the topic that we're gonna be talking about. It's really personal preference of whether you, whether you like iOS or you like Android. And yeah. That's uh, iPhone 7 had to be on this list. Um, it's, it is one of the best phones of 2016. Uh, next up is the HTC 10. So HTC had a bit of a rough year last year with their One M9. It was a good phone. It performed really nicely, but the camera kind of killed the phone. HTC One M9. It it was it was all right. Just didn't hold up to its expectations but HTC came out with the HTC 10 so it's a full metal body phone as you would expect from HTC um, the camera on there this year is actually pretty impressive uh, definitely way better than last year let's get that out of the way and it rivals with the uh, Galaxy S7 the iPhone 7 uh, it comes close definitely so yeah HTC 10 is one of the best phones of 2016. Last but not least, Google Pixel and the Pixel XL. Now, this is kind of a rough, kind of a best phone of 2016. Hear me out. So performance-wise, it has that on par. It's Google, and the Google Pixel has the Snapdragon 821 and all that. So specs-wise, it's, uh, it's good on that department. And the camera on there is really impressive, and it is one of the top cameras out right now. It rivals with the iPhone 7, the Galaxy S7, it's really nice on there. And the other thing that is... So Google Pixel XL is a nice phone, it, it lacks water resistance, which is alright, I guess. But, for $650, and that's just for the Google Pixel, 
And the Google Pixel, uh, the difference between the Pixel and Pixel XL is the display. The Pixel has a 1080p AMOLED display, while the Pixel XL has the Quad HD. If you think about it, for $650, you can actually get the Nexus 6P and get some other accessories for that price. But you can get the Nexus 6P which supports uh, a Quad HD display, has a good camera, and it runs stock Android just like the Pixel and the Pixel XL. So I don't know what... I think Google's trying to just go ahead and go for the full flagship. How successful How successful will it be? I don't know. We gotta have to wait and see. But they've been doing a lot of advertising on it. And it's definitely one of the best phones of 2016. While design-wise, it might not look as good as the other ones on the list. But that's okay because um, I think experience may differ from one person to another. And yeah, Google Pixel and Pixel XL are one of the best phones of 2016. And this is it. This is uh, in no. Per this list was in no particular order. Now, if you're wondering why the Galaxy Note 7 didn't make it, or why the LG G5 didn't make it, just to wait till the worst phones of 2016 list comes up very soon. This is pretty much it. I want to thank everyone so much for watching, guys. We are at 91 subscribers and nine more away from the 100 mark, and hopefully we'll get to it very soon, before the end of the year maybe. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I want to thank everyone so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next video, which will be coming soon. So yeah, stay tuned, subscribe, and I will catch you guys later.